Hi everyone, welcome back to another demo in the restaurant on 20 Kitchen. We're right before lunch service here, and I'm uh, excited to show you a new dish that we're putting on the dinner menu right now for summer. Um, at the restaurant, we uh, often get requests from guests for a salad with some sort of protein, uh, grilled chicken, grilled salmon. So we decided to put something on the menu that uh, really uh, hits that note in terms of a beautiful sort of light uh, preparation for the summertime uh, with a nice beautiful uh, piece of fish uh, and, uh, and sort of a spin-off uh, of a salad. So what I'm going to prepare today is swordfish a la pancha with grilled romaine and banya cauda sauce. So uh, there's really four components to this dish. We have the fish, which you see here, beautiful swordfish that we uh, are procuring from uh, Portland, Maine, all the way down to uh, the Carolinas. These are line caught, sustainably harvested uh, swordfish. Um, and there's different parts of the swordfish that we're using. There's the eye, which is the really nice center cut, which I'm going to be using today. But there's also a cut that I really like as well, which is closer to the skin. Uh, and we, uh, we use both of these cuts as well. Both have a different sort of texture, but are both wonderful uh, in this preparation. So we're going to cook this swordfish a la plancha. You know, all that means is really uh, griddle, if you will. Um, a la plancha basically means to be cooked on uh, a hot table. So um, in a moment I'll show you our, our, uh, our chrome plated uh, hot a la plancha, which I'm going to be cooking the swordfish on. We're also going to be using uh, romaine. So romaine everyone's familiar with, uh, usually is seen in the form of a Caesar salad. Uh, what we're going to do with this romaine is simply grill it. Um, when you grill romaine, you really bring out a whole other flavor profile uh, that the lettuce has. Temperature really affects a lot of things in food, especially when it comes to lettuce. Um, and you'll find that when you bring some heat to the romaine, uh, a certain nuttiness and uh, sort of earthy flavor comes out of the, of, of the lettuce that you wouldn't have if it was prepared cold in the salad. So, uh, and then the final uh, two components is our banya cauda sauce. Uh, and banya cauda in Italian means hot bath. Now this is a sort of rustic uh, sauce, more of a dip if you will, uh, that you would find often uh, at the table during uh, aperitif or during hors d'oeuvres sort of like a dip that they would use for uh, dipping vegetables or even bread into. And mainly it, it is comprised of three components, garlic, uh, milk, and anchovies. Um, we do a different variation on the vanicata to make it a little bit more stable. Uh, where you're, we're using uh, fresh garlic, we're using candy lemon, it gives it a nice sweet and uh, sour uh, note to uh, the sauce. And these are called bocarones, these are white anchovies. Now, I know a lot of people sort of cringe when they think of anchovies. Uh, I used to as well, but these are exceptional. Uh, they're nothing like the hairy, canned stuff that we were freaked out about when we were younger. These are sweet, these are marinated, uh, they're delicious, and uh, I've fallen in love with them. And I hope you will too. So we're using these in our sauce, uh, along with, of course, Farmer's Cow Heavy Cream, our local uh, dairy farms. And the final component to sort of bring in the whole salad theme are croutons. Right? So we think of a Caesar salad or, or any sort of kind of uh, uh, entree style salad has some sort of carbohydrate or some bread component in it. So what we're using is uh, a buckwheat bread that we make in-house. In, in um, and this bread is wonderful um, because of its texture and its taste and its ability to, to, to toast up and fry up. It has an excellent crumb and it also happens to be gluten free. So we make this in-house, and uh, we're going to actually make a, sort of a rustic style crouton to accompany the dish. Today guys, I've got that nice, beautiful, center cut piece of swordfish that I simply just uh, 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 coated with some nice extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to season with kosher salt. And it's going to go directly on the plancha, right in the center spot here. right there. Now I'm going to let that just ride and let it cook on each side for about three to four minutes. And what I'm trying to achieve here is a nice golden brown caramelization on the east side of the fish and then it will be about a medium to medium plus 
uh, in the middle, which is what we want to serve it as. Uh, we never want to cook through the fish, pretty much any fish we don't want to cook through, uh, and the swordfish certainly not. We really want to try to treat it like a steak. Now it's time for us to work on the second component, which is our grilled romaine. Um, I suggest at the market, if you're going to use romaine, to try to find uh, some of the younger, uh, more tighter uh, heads of romaine. Uh, those will keep their shape and, and, and stay intact a little bit more on top of a hot grill. Uh, what we've done is we've taken uh, heads of romaine, sort of trim out the outer leaves so we get to about a, a nice sort of center heart of romaine. And what we did is just simply tied it uh, with some sugar kelp, all right? And all this does is to help sort of uh, keep the romaine nice and intact and for presentation purposes. So again, we're gonna grill this. We're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, and it's gonna go directly on the grill. High heat on the grill. And what you really wanna do is let it grill sufficiently so that you get some good char marks on there and that heat will start to wilt this, the, uh, the romaine and that will promote the, uh, the flavor that we're looking for. We talked about banya cauda, all right? A hot bath, basically three components, garlic, heavy cream, or milk, uh, and white anchovies. So this, is, this could be a simpler sauce to make. Uh, what we're really trying to do is infuse all the flavors together. So we do that by heating it all together. So we're gonna dump in our white anchovies, we're gonna take some garlic, and the garlic can be left whole, it can be smashed, it can be sliced up thin. What we're really trying to do is infuse that garlic flavor into our sauce. So I'm just gonna slice up a few. And as we all know, garlic goes a long way. We're gonna cover all that with heavy cream, just to cover. I'm gonna add a little bit of my candy lemon Candy lemon is something that we make here at the restaurant, but that's something that you can obviously buy at a specialty food store. And this is gonna go on low, medium to low heat until the cream starts to simmer, the garlic softens and infuses through, and the anchovies uh, are blended. Once all that is, uh, is, is infused, we're gonna go right into our blender and blend it all up. Once we do that, we strain it, we cool it, and we achieve a nice sort of thick kind of dressing-like sauce that we're gonna to use to plate. So our buckwheat bread, okay? I, I sliced a nice thick slice of buckwheat bread. Now at home, you can simply just toss this with a little butter and toast it in the oven till it's nice and uh, crispy. What we do here at the restaurant actually is deep fry it. Um, and this is what gives it a beautiful color and nice texture and crunch. All right, everyone, so we've got all our components. Now it's time to plate. What we do at the restaurant is make sure that we've got all our mise en place together close by before we go to the plate. Part of the whole experience at On20 is, is seeing a beautiful presentation on the plate. More important than that is cooking the food properly. So we've made sure that we've got a beautiful piece of bread that is nice and crispy, came right out of the, uh, the fryer. What I'm gonna do is just hit that with a little bit of lemon juice and season it again with salt, okay? Then our swordfish right off the plancha. Beautiful color. Again, that's gonna get, as all our proteins at, uh, at the restaurant, we dress with just a little bit of brown butter and lemon juice. All right, that's really gonna help give a nice exterior seasoning and flavor to the fish. And we have our grilled romaine. So the romaine is gonna be the first thing on the plate. We're just gonna sort of really create the plate based on the romaine. Flip that over for you. So there's our beautiful grilled romaine. Uh, we're gonna go with the sauce next. Then some crouton, which I'm gonna just kind of cut up leave into the large chunks to garnish the plate. And now for our swordfish, we're gonna slice a little bit on the bias. 
three or four nice slices. And you can see that I've got a little bit of translucency in the middle. That's exactly what we're looking for. It's a nice medium. And that finishes our plate. A little garnish. And there you have it folks, swordfish a la plancha with grilled romaine, bagna cata, and buckwheat crouton. Bon appetit.